past two times. For the second time in this inning. One, two, three, four. 23, 29. Edge over Thunder. Hey, hey, howdy, hi, apple pie. Welcome back to the Beatball Blue Show. We are very excited to be here once again with you. And I am one of your co hosts, Neil D A W G. And here with me, Seth. Bam Bam Clark, Seth Talk. We have breaking news on two fronts to start the show with, and they both involve our beloved West Coast dogs. You know, uh, I was hello, Neil. How Hi, are Seth you? Talk. Hey, good. how's it going, man? You know, I'm good. <laughs> I'm I'm good. Glad, glad, you know, glad to see you, man. I just want to let people know I'm here, man. Before you uh, go on, and I, uh, I don't get to say anything or whatever, man. You know, sorry, I felt a little bit rushed. We're yeah, a little bit, you know, we're like three days behind. Yeah, you know, I feel like, like I'm trying to catch up in one moment. Yeah, you know, we're down twelve nothing, and I'm trying to get it all back you know, in one hit. It's funny. I was gonna. I was gonna. The the my, my flag football season ended tragically on Sunday in crushing loss to the Phillips to the Eagles, and my, but my team made me a little uh, plaque and stuff with all their names all raised. I was gonna. Oh, cool. I was gonna show it on the show, man. Hey, but I, you know, I'm go like, ahead. I, I, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 man. No, you too rushed, man. It's okay, man. Go ahead. Bye -bye. Well, it's West Coast go Dogs ahead. news, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it okay. doesn't trump Coach Clark news. <laughs> you can show your plaque. Do you have it up? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Right. But go ahead. Yeah. So you know, uh, at the uh, real quick before we bring our guests in, but uh, uh, we. Um, I, recently, I attended on behalf of the West Coast Dogs the ranking committee. And yeah, when I don't I know gave, why I didn't get an update earlier. And when, me off, Neil. <laughs> when I gave them an update on our team, I, I was honest, told them we're like in that developmental stage. <laughs> we don't really have, it doesn't look like we're going to have enough for this year. So. And I mentioned that our only experienced uh, members were you, me, and and Trajan, your son, and our pitcher. But I left out Hall of Fame spotter Mark Masters as part of the group. And he was a huge part of our success in the past because he had this big old huge fan that could drive us all around and, and drive us, uh, like it fit all the equipment, bases, everything inside it, seat like 100 people. And, and he made a big difference in us being able to like practice it sometimes, not even sometimes, all the time. But he came over just a few hours ago to show off their brand new Winnebago set dog. The what? Oh, Tyler just left us. <laughs> oh, <it's back>. Yay. <laughs> uh, no, we, uh, no. The West Coast Dogs Mobile now is a Winnebago with like a Mercedes Benz <laughs> engine in it, that dog. So we are going to be styling. And so oh, dog, good. That, that leads into the second piece of news. Dude, tell me, we were able to secure the services of the other, the Hall of Fame catcher, Bill Johnson? No, no, no. not yet. We're working no, on that. <laughs> Joining the West Coast Dogs to help in our path back to the championship. Oh, who? Lay it on. Eric God, and Tyler what? Rodriguez are leaving their respective teams and coming on to join the dogs. Fellas, what's it like to, to live your lifelong dream and become West Coast Dogs? <laughs> Tyler, we'll start with you. <laughs> uh, or not. Well, that's a little far. I'm in Philly now. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> like like the Indy Thunder, we've decided to take players from out of state because we're not making right. it with the players in state. So we'll take you. Right. Yeah. Will you. Will you take Eric? <laughs> that still, hey, that still leaves yep. us. Uh, hey, that still leaves us a few players short. So don't worry, guys. You guys might be able to play with your regular teams this year. Well, next year. Yeah, next year. Next year. We're just glad to have you on the team for right now. Yeah, we're just glad to have you on the team. So only half well, of our – I must say I'm honored. <laughs> we already have a nickname for you, E-Dog. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> e -dog. That's outdated. Dude, I can't, I can't wait to walk up to the field – on you on the field and say, 
It is an honor and a privilege to be able to play with you. <laughs> that is That's too much Eric of an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say to Eric every, all the time. So obviously only half of the breaking news is true. We do have a new dog mobile set dog and it it's styling. <laughs> but we'll have to share more on that later. Uh, Fellas, man, it's been a while. How are you? They do good. Good. All right. I feel so, like we're cheating. We're getting around our thunder uh, our thunder band by having Oh, we don't have a team. thunder band. <laughs> <laughs> thunder band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're going through hard. enough hard time with these two guys poaching all their players. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Welcome. I'm, I'm sorry. Neil told me not to sidetrack this stuff because because Tyler's busy. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry, man. Tyler's got all these manly duties all of a sudden. Moved to uh, Philly, taking on a, 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 he and he and his lovely lady, one of the Hogwoods. Is uh, they 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 will be cohabitating, starting their new life together in Philly. Uh, so Tyler ain't got time to screw around on our stupid uh, show. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. well, nothing to do. <laughs> oh, Tyler's back. <laughs> we keep. I don't. I don't know if you're getting a note, Tyler, but we keep hearing that Tyler's left the meeting. Tyler's, <laughs> the meeting. Tyler's left the meeting. Tyler's returned the meeting. So yeah, I'm going to try not to respond to it because I'm not panicking yeah, right. here. Still. Yeah, right. Hey, so uh, go ahead. <laughs> what were you say? Well, I heard something about Lady Hall, so I thought you were talking about me. Um, but I, I, you sound like robots the entire time, so I need a, I need a spark note instead of the last couple of sentences. <laughs> we know what you're saying because you sounded like a robot through half of that statement, so your, your connection's going in and out on you, but well, you know, it's Zoom, we'll live with it. Um, so each of you, you know, started a new path this past uh, off season with Eric joining the Edge and you, Tyler, joining the Philly Fire, and you each have played now in a tournament with your new team. So let's start out with you, Tyler, because we've had a lot of Edge talk on this show, but uh, and we'll have more. But uh, <laughs> Tyler, man, how did oh, your sure. your first weekend with the Philly Fire go? How you feel? Oh um, man. About your new school. Man, it was fun. I found the right team for me because uh, it's serious, but we also know how to have fun. Uh, and we were celebrating a couple birthdays on the during the tournament, so uh, that Saturday night. <laughs> I know uh, Scott Hogwood is one of those birthdays. I'm not sure who the other one is. Uh, well, Miguel's birthday was the week before, and right. uh, he played with us now uh, for that tournament, and that was my buddy. <laughs> well, so when you say it like that, because I was going to bring up Mikel uh, Tello uh, playing with you guys. What What do you mean he played with you for that tournament? Is that not is, is that not a permanent thing? Well, um, as of right <laughs> now, he's not going to the series, but we're working on it. We're working right. on it. He said he needs a Latina chick to meet him down there, so we'll put a pen in that. <laughs> Well, <laughs> to meet him, to meet him down there. Like Tello. Uh, apparently, no, Paul Juan is too. probably close to the border. <laughs> I, I don't. I, know. It, it, I was to say it would be hard <laughs> if you wanted to meet somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm I saying. Don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Y'all just gotta hit it with that Mexican swag. Yeah, having, having a Latina on on his side has made Bam Bam very successful over the years. So oh, successful. Yeah. <laughs> every, I was going to say every good man stands on the shoulders of a of a great woman, but I don't know if that's perhaps the right uh, <laughs> way to put it. I, right I've now. been taught to say on the side, and I yeah. like that. I like the sound. I like the sound of that better. Don't put either in front of. Uh, of no, there. no, this uh, the the. All right, we don't uh, want to get canceled, sir. So. It, 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 uh, <laughs> it, it's a it's some statement that talks about like the the enlightenment and great thinkers or whatever. So all great thinkers stand on the the shoulders of the you know so they're holding them up. But 
But I don't even know where we were this going. Oh, we, we were I, talking about bro, brother going down to Beaumont and getting himself a. No, a, we were going to go way play. back away from that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the breaking news, Neil Dogg. <laughs> that's the end. It is. And we will wait for more information on Miguel Tello down the road. <laughs> that sounds like some foundation worthy news right there. <laughs> hey, Tyler, one thing. Uh, I can't remember which game it was. Uh, the, the second game you guys played, I think that was against the Thunder or the Edge. Uh, the Edge. The, yeah, the second game was yeah, against was the Edge. Players. I mean, for one, the, the whole like Hogwood experience, you know, like uh, everybody kind of being involved on the team. Like at one point we had Scott and Dakota go back to back score and runs. I don't know that we've ever had a parent child. Like go back to back and, and, and like score runs in a game like that. I thought that was cool, but um, yeah, at, at one point, at, at one point, Dakota's doing the play by play on the live stream while she still played. So she'll like go have an at bat, <laughs> come back, and <laughs> do the play by play. So I, 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 yeah, I hear that she does it good. That's on too. Captain. That's on Captain. She's multitasking. <laughs> she must be in good shape because she's never out of breath when she came back. She's like, all right, guys, sorry. So I can get play by play. I was running the base, but, <laughs> 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 but no, that was very enjoyable. I, I just, uh, you, you guys seem to be like a fun group. So I, I could dig you being happy there. Um, Eric, what about you, man? What was uh, what was your first? Ex- I know you've been practicing a lot with the Edge, but how'd the first weekend of games go with you guys? Uh, it was pretty fun. It was honestly one of the funnest tournaments I've ever played in. I had a blast. Everyone was playing together. You know, we got a we got to see what we look like live and everything, and then we know we need to work on. It was a good time, man. I think it was a good move, and looking forward to this next tournament here in a couple of weeks. Have you guys ever played against each other before? Like a bit on opposite teams? You and Tyler? No. No. What was that like for the two of you? Like, how? what was that? I Uh, I got him out three times and scored five. (laughs) (laughs) Our boy uh, boy Frank the Tank, when – I shouldn't share this, Tyler, because, man, he went with his teammate. But I sent Frank a message, like, looks like we're going to have Eric and Tyler on the show. He's like, well, Eric should have a good time talking about that. Our boy Tyler was just saying he was hoping you would be here with us, Frankie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, could you give us an idea? Because, you know, people have been speculating with all the talent you guys brought in, speculating left and right, who was going to be where, like, what was kind of your your, your base defense? Um, like, I know the, 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 the one game, I, I know you guys probably mixed it up quite a bit. Um, I wasn't able to listen to every game. But uh, I know, like, in one lineup, you had Ja'Cory as the, the DH and Mark Morris. Yeah, I can uh... – I can give you just like kind of what. Yeah, I'll give you played where, we played yeah. where on defense. It's kind of where I'm So at. I was playing short left, and then we had Justin Holland playing short right. We had Mark Morris playing the left wing. We had uh, Corey on White playing the right wing. Nick Moharan playing deep left. And um, Aaron, Aaron, C, right? Aaron C playing uh, the deep six. All right. And then uh, Mark Morris DF'd for most of the weekend. And. Uh, uh, we had Joel. He was DHing, and then Mike was DHing, and so we we had a bunch. And then Jacory, he was in the mix as well. We kind of had a bunch of different lineups, but that was pretty much the core of it right there. Yeah, that, uh, that's a tough lineup on paper. <laughs> so it makes sense why you guys had had a, a good week, and I think you guys, for the most part came out i know you said you came out of it knowing things you got to work on but i have to assume the overall you guys felt like the the initial step was pretty successful yeah it was a fun time like uh, we all had a blast we were glad to see where we were and uh i think there's a lot more to come and you know we just got to go out here and make it happen how was it playing against your old team all right you guys played against uh, the man it was well for instance like ikram 
that boy decided he wanted to hit like a man all of a sudden. And it was like, damn, you scoring on me, but I'm excited. Like, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but, no, it's like, you know, you expect it from Jared. I mean, Jared doesn't back down. He's a – it don't matter who his six are, he's going to hit bats and score runs. So, you know. Yeah. You know, I, I thought that was actually one thing about the edge that I was actually impressed about was they um, – they they really, you know, I'll just speak freely. They kind of crumbled in the past when they played the Thunder, and like now this time around, like they're they were just. They, I liked how they weren't intimidated by Jared, because a lot of people get scared of that dude because he's he's a beast, you know. <laughs> and so um, it was, I thought everyone handled that well, and then, you know I, I thought we had a great game, and I think we're probably gonna have some more in the future. So yeah, Seth and I actually talked about that after the world series last year that it um that it, it seemed like the edge it, late in close games uh late in the tournament would would lose their cool at, at times like when when the pressure came on and uh you know seth and i have been at both ends of that we, we've been the players that are the team that kind of lost their composure late in games, and we've been the team that's overcome that. So we like yeah. see both sides of that. And but, uh, one ahead. of my things that I really liked about this weekend was like, I mean, I've got I think Jacory's the only one that has more like experience than I do. Maybe Mark, 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 and me are pretty even. I think I think he might have another year or two. But a lot of these guys, like Nick's, only played since. 18 Aaron's only played since 20 like a lot and then Justin's pretty new you know it's like a, yes. a lot of these guys are you know they haven't ever been in that moment and you know a lot of what beatball is is confidence and being in your head like you can't let that get to you and you know Dude, I, I gotta say I'm just sorry I'm old as hell if Jacory is the most experienced player on your team and I remember when Jacory was a rookie man gee I'm an old man, cool. Neil Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, everyone's pretty new. Yeah, not only that, I mean, new and uh, at good ages to where, like, if you could keep the majority of that together, uh, you know, yeah. it, it's hard to keep a big group together for anybody. But uh, if you could keep the majority of that together, like the, you know, the way you guys could grow together is uh, kind of scary, really. <laughs> and it's cool. You know, like every team needs someone who can kind of like lead. And, you know, we've got a good group of guys that we've put in the captain roles and, you know, everyone's just coming together. Everything's meshing. And it's like, it's, it was fun. We didn't have a single moment where it was like, Ugh, or anybody was down or anything. It was just, if someone had a bad player or something, he had like three teammates going his way. So, I mean, it's just setting that right, setting up the right culture is like the best, most important thing. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about the tournament overall a little bit. Um, it was a four team tournament that had the gateway archers who finished fourth, the Philly fire finishing third, the Indy thunder finishing second and the Indy edge. Uh, winning the championship in a 29-22 ball game that, uh, that that captured the title of the tournament. The final game with the, the Archers and the Philly playing for third was uh, Philadelphia 14 and the Archers 9. You know, going into the tournament, I, I made a, a statement that um, – yeah, with a special with Miguel, I, you know, being up in the air, I guess, <laughs> with with the Thunder, um, that it's getting getting harder and harder to put the the Thunder in the top five. But uh, I mean, at, at this point, they showed at least over the weekend that they deserve that consideration, like more than than uh, the the other teams that maybe we've been putting ahead of them at this point. Um, I, I was impressed with uh, how. Both Jared, like uh, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, and, and their lineup was able to to produce um, runs. But for the most part, I mean, obviously the final game was tough. But for the most part, they they played uh, pretty good defensively. I thought. I don't know how hey, that uh, team would yeah, hold you up. Mind over. If I add something to that? Yeah, sure. You know, and that game was twenty nine to twenty three. But like, we hit really well. There were a lot of balls that like it didn't matter who was really out there. You know, like we hit, we were hitting really well, and so the Thunder played great defense. I thought they 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 looked solid to me. So I mean, I think they definitely deserve to be in the top five. 
And then, like I said, with Jared, I mean, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Man's a miracle. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. You'd, um, have to have, you'd have to have a pretty bad roster to, to – to drop Jared out of the top five, man. He's, right? He's a, he, he can true. pick a lot of people up. So. Now there, there's some people like in, in basketball. Like I, I don't know if it's the same since he's older, but like no matter what team LeBron went to, they were like an instant contender. You right. know, and, <laughs> yeah. and wherever Jared's gonna be, their their team's got a shot. Right. I don't right. know how that particular lineup. Um, that the particular squad will hold up over five days. I, um, That's kind of what I was. That would kind of be you my. Need a lot routine. of men gay. <laughs> what do you <laughs> say, Tyler? You're gonna you need said a lot of men gay. Of men gay. <laughs> you better have those hyper vaults on deck massage guns yeah right <laughs> tyler on on your squad because i feel like you guys um have, have put a lot of uh you, you you guys outside of the edge are one of the teams um and, and i guess the the heat but uh, that are uh, kind of uh, unknown because you put together a, a you know a, kind of a new roster. But you you guys put together like a lot of experienced players that you're you're throwing together on your roster. Um, I, I I assume you guys. I, I I thought maybe you guys would have a little better showing over the weekend. I thought you guys were strong. Uh, but uh, like in the game against the Thunder. Um, that, that was a big turnaround at the end. I believe you guys got outscored like 16 to one. Now I know, uh, in the last like three innings. Um, so I, 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 I know you guys were missing, uh, Johnny Ma and a few other players, but you also had like Zach Arambula filling in or whatever. So like, where are you guys at coming out of that tournament? How are you feeling with your own self-assessment? Uh, we felt good. Uh, yeah, we had a Rambula and Miguel, but, we're also uh, going to be thinking of Johnny Ma, who is one of the better uh, uh, players on the team. But after, uh, we were actually really uh, happy with our performance. Yeah, we, uh, we like, let the lead blow in the Thunder game. But also, we were beating the edge at one point uh, in the later innings. So, like, you can't be too down about that. I think our final score was 10-12 to 12 against the edge, who – and the Thunder, who are, like, ranked third right now. So, I'm like, oh, it was a tough tournament. So, we're not really tripping. And uh, it, was, it was fun because we had a mascot on the sideline. We, uh, it, was just a, it was a really Are you talking about the duck? Overall. Are you talking about the duck? Yeah. Do you tell us? I, I couldn't figure that out because, like, I know on the Philly Fire page, they had, like, pictures and our videos of it or something. <laughs> <laughs> that tells, tell us about the duck. What's up with this duck? All right. So uh, we all came in like Thursday night just because like, we had like a 10 hour drive. It was, it was Dakota Cam, uh, Dakota's boyfriend, <coughs> one of our opponents, Tim, Casey, uh, Justin Ryan. We all crashed at Eric's. And outside of Eric's, Eric has an infestation of ducks. And there, uh, this duck came up to us like we didn't know where his mama was. It was like playing with us. It was nibbling on our toes and stuff. So we were like, all right, we'll just nurse him back to the house for the weekend. And uh, we named it, its name was JD because we uh, they put it in a Jack Daniels bottle uh, as like a carrying case. <laughs> and we just uh, we we smuggled him into the hotel and like <laughs> that was, that was. That was our mascot for the weekend. He's back in his home in front of Eric's house. Eric's supposed to give him <coughs> bread every day. Right, Eric? Awesome. You give him any bread today? I don't feed them ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I moved in, they, like, ran up on me when I was walking in with the pizza and some breadsticks. Like, hey, man. I'm like, uh-uh. Bye. Walk right by them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. What? But you didn't take care of JD? <laughs> no, man. JD <laughs> is done on his own. Man. Yeah, you, you, you're worried about JD. Take him back to Philly. <laughs> yeah, right. It's hard out What's there crazy is the that. Ducks were like searching for him. They were going crazy. <laughs> where, uh, where do you live that you got Ducks around you, E? 
I live in an apartment and there's like a retention pond and there's a bunch of ducks and mm. some geese that live around that like live around it. All right. Hey, that reminds me. Did the team that nicknamed you number seven give you jersey number two? Were you wearing jersey number two? Yeah, I'm number two, but that that they, that's actually from a uh, Booker yelling my number to the scoreboard. Oh, okay. Score table. Score seven. Score seven. seven. It's like it started in 2020 when we had Zach was on the sidelines because Book was running the tournament, so he was he was mimicking Book the whole time. It was hilarious. Oh, okay. And so Book uh, Zach's is over. He's like seven, seven. <laughs> and it just kind of picked it up. Yeah, it was. It kind of just took over. It was hilarious. Well, I, 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 I get, I had given them credit, the edge credit for nicknaming you that because I, at one point, Leah told me that they like to call you number seven, and I've heard her refer to you as number seven. So, that, yeah, that, they that's definitely that's like the one that embodied it the most. I'll give them that. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no, but uh, I could have been number seven. I just chose to be two. Is ready to go. New direction. New start. Yes, sir. I'm going to run down uh, real quick the uh, the, the all-tournament uh, results. The six players on offense were Kevin. Originally, it, they announced Toby Smith of the Thunder, but it, it turned out to be uh, <laughs> Kevin Smith of the Thunder had the six best batting uh -oh, average. I bet he was angry. You bet what? <laughs> I bet uh, Toby was angry. <laughs> Either way, they both obviously had a, a pretty good uh, tournament for the Thunder. Aaron C hit six two five over the tournament, had the fifth best average. Uh, Zach, yeah. Zach Arambla came in uh, fourth, playing for the Fire. I just wanted to be known. That boy was pounded. Zach was. Oh man, yeah. It didn't matter who pitched the rock to this boy. Hit like four balls over. The second row. I'm like, damn, Zach. <laughs> where did uh, Tyler? Wait, where did Zach play for you guys? Did he fill in at shortstop, or where did he play? Uh, he was at shortstop for a while, but then uh, I think he ended up being in like that deep six spot. Okay. Um, and we had uh, we had Casey Krause, uh playing short left for most of it. All right. Yeah, no, Shout Casey. out to Casey. He looks like he's got a future up there. Yeah, now Casey had He a... took one on the chin, my Oh, Aaron man. Pete. Speaking of big A, yeah, Casey laid out and Aaron hit a rocket, hit him in the jaw. Man, it looked oh. gnarly. Oh. Yeah, it was serious. I thought it hit him in the chest. That's how hard it hit him. Did he, uh, did he, he stay Casey in the game? Casey like a buck 50. Oh, yeah, he, he took that big. Like uh, that's hard to <laughs> do. Aaron, 250. Job. <laughs> yeah, Aaron played fullback when he played football, so you know he could he could you, land he a boom. A <laughs> like bumping into a normal human. I'm telling you, that's a big boy. <laughs> Nick Mulheron had the third best average of the tournament. Our boy number two, Eric Rodriguez, went 14 for 17 over the tourney. Big surprise. Gerald Dykus comes in 16 right. for 19 for the Thunder. Gee, so what those, a good weekend. He was hitting well, too. Those were right. He was out there playing defense. Dude, you got know, he, yeah, he, he made a put right out. Thing. He made a put out. You know, uh, when Jared uh, was on the show a few months back, I even asked, like, man, is this the year that we see uh, Gerald on, on defense? And he laughed, like, nah, that's not going to happen. But. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Things change eventually. Hey, that's funny. If he got a put out, I'm pretty sure that's G's first ever like in game put out. And I believe it closed out the game, whatever oh. uh, their second game was. Uh, oh uh, wow! Any and he made like, the game. That's yeah, funny. I think he made the final play of the game against the Archers. I believe that, against one of, in one of those games. If you one of you guys would remember it if it was either your team, so I had to be. Yeah, like, it must have been Archers because they definitely wouldn't have had G. I don't remember. I don't remember where G. I think he was deep right against us. So on defense, Mark Morris of the Edge uh, had the six most putouts. Shouts out to him from the second level at that. 
Dave Smith playing with the Archers came in with the fifth most putouts. Do you, uh, I know that uh, David Smith was playing kind of the mid level for the Jets last year. Do you know where he was, he was laying out for the, for the um, Archers? Maybe Ooh. short, right? He was I, short left. For, for he was short left. I couldn't remember where they had him. He was short. Yeah. He was short left for uh, the game that we played. Him. Yeah. All right. All right. So D Smith popped in there. Kyle Bora popped in there. I know Kyle had like seven putouts in one of their games, so he had a good weekend. Casey Krause, 11 putouts, oh. pop in there for the Philadelphia Fire. Nice weekend for him. He could have had and got Aaron. Say that again? He had 12, you say? He could have had 12. Oh, okay. uh, oh on the, the one that Rick went got. After it. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, years ago, uh, we uh, playing a game here in Northern California, not at a World Series, but it, I don't remember if it was Slick or Kimmy Watts, two, two of the greats that played with the East Bay Blaze back in the days. But I was playing like short right field, and one of them hit a line drive that hit me square in the middle of my forehead. And it ricocheted like <laughs> 50 feet off me. Like I could not get to that ball because it hit my head. And Seth has always said my head's the hardest thing in the world. Man, and, uh, the that ball be one thing. Dude got hit in the jaw, though. Yeah, no, that would hurt. I, the forehead, you know, you, <laughs> oh. you could headbutt somebody with your forehead. You're not going to do that right. with your jaw. <laughs> I'll recommend uh, the jaw. That won't go well yeah, for you. I uh, hope, you, hope you're feeling all right, Casey, but good job this weekend. Erod came in, 18 foot out, and Mr. James Michaels following oh, his school. <laughs> following his first uh, addition to the defensive all tournament team at the World Series last year. James Michael James Michaels uh, was tops and put outs for the Indy Thunder on defense. I I've got a question for you all. And I'm in place. What'd you say, Eric? Got <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, didn't he have 20? Yeah, he had 20 total. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I have a question for all you guys about the all tourney teams at these smaller tournaments. And this is not a, a statement towards this particular tournament because I've, I've been saying this about smaller tournaments since I, I was playing. Like in a four team tournament, do we need six all stars on offense and defense? <laughs> I, I think that's I right. Agree with you on that. I don't like six put outs for an award. I mean, that's good considering Mark was playing like the second level. No, 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 no. Kind of... That's not what he's asking. That's not what I don't think that's actually. What, I, I mean, in, in a way, is that what you're asking? Well, I'm I'm not, not so much the numbers, but. My point was going to be like here in California, I was like 3,000 miles from the tournament. I was six putouts for making the all tournament team. <laughs> six putouts for making the all tournament team. <laughs> oh. I mean, I remember we did champagne last year, and I think I got an award for like six putouts. <laughs> I, guess, I don't know. I mean, shouts out to anybody that gets up there, but you know, I don't know. I, I get, um, I, and I've been be making this. The, the reason I've been making this argument for a long time is because these uh, awards can be used uh, as someone on someone's resume as part of a uh, nomination for the Hall of Fame, and you know what I mean. It is 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 six putouts, and and, and it, this is no knock on Mark. I, I love Mark Morris as a player. I, I'm, I, you know, I I'm a fan of his. So this no, but it doesn't matter who it is. Like, but is that is that worthy? Is like being part of a resume. <laughs> towards the hall of fame when it was just a four team tournament i guess i'm i'm thinking in the smaller tournaments there should be like an mvp and a runner-up or maybe top three but i, I, I could see top three it'd be less math to have to add up and everything <laughs> There, I, I was thinking about it. It's like when you consider if everybody used a DH in a designated fielder, um, that that's a total of twenty eight starters between the the four teams. Twelve people are getting all tournament awards. I know that some bench players get them, not all starters, whatever. I, that, that my math isn't exact, but 
aren't we uh, uh, the simple part of it getting a little close to participation trophies at that point when you know i definitely thought about that before now <laughs> and i mean it know, really it, it doesn't mean you don't get a chance to win an award and sometimes these smaller tournaments you know i mean like when you win awards often you kind of don't you forget how how fun it is to go up there and get your picture taken and everything so i mean as long as they ain't doing it at the World Series, I'm cool with it. So <laughs> yeah, I think the, the the like I I hear you what you're saying on that, and that that is cool. Where Neil's point is is really good though is that then goes to your Hall of Fame credentials, and is yeah, it really that get, is, like, is it is it really that exclusive? Them, what? I think you have to get a good amount of regional ones. So, like, right. I mean, I don't. I, I don't like know what eight it is. or it's like eight or ten. No, or no. I mean, if that's all you have, uh, what the qualification is is five all stars, five mm-hmm. all star appearances. But if if you don't have the five, like two regional tournament trophies equal one all star. Um, so it doesn't okay, matter what so, the math yeah. is. You are right. Like ten, ten of those. I, I could knew it was get like eight or ten. I mean, I, I, that would be. I mean, how often are you going to get an award for six putouts? So, I mean, that doesn't really happen super often. And, and again, I don't want to make it about that. For me, yeah, yeah, it, no, you know what I mean. Oh, Especially because yeah. again, I don't want more good also, things. Go ahead, go ahead. We go. also played one less game than what we were supposed to lose. Yeah, I would oh, say four true. games. Yeah, they because they canceled the afternoon. I didn't games. even think about that. That is so true. it's really only three <laughs> games. Uh, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I I'm I'm I, I'm not at all people that getting recognized for having a good tournament. Sure. But I I feel like that's a little heavy. And I do have like one uh, follow up question, Tyler. With so many of those being available, how come I'm not hearing Tyler Rodriguez's name? Oh no. Where you at, though, oh, T.Y.? <laughs> I'm waiting for T.Y. with his big bounce back from, from his health issues last year. No, he going to uh, be out there. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know how many I had. I know it wasn't six, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you playing with Philadelphia? They have you I'm in playing, your usual, like, middle left? <laughs> I'm playing deep six, my normal spot, then – I started to play short right. I ended playing short right. So, um, oh yeah, they did have you playing deep six against us. I had them running new. It was funny. <laughs> no, no, no. Against y'all, I was playing short right, and y'all hit one ball to me, which I got y'all out. Literally, Miguel and I were in right field getting a tan that entire game because y'all just wanted to hit away from us. We wanted to see what Justin was about. <laughs> but yeah, I every ball that got hit my way during that game, I got, and I think it was Corey on. <laughs> so, but, uh, so uh, before we we like wrap it up and let you guys get back to your life, uh, Tyler, you the Philly Fire are playing in another tournament this weekend. I believe it's uh, the Fire, New Jersey Titans, and Long Island Bombers. So, yeah, yeah, right? the Heat. Uh, yeah, the heat dropped out like a couple of days ago or something. Oh, I didn't know but, the heat uh, were supposed to yeah, be uh, in it. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, they were. It was supposed to be like a fourteen tournament, but now, uh, <coughs> oh, geez. but um, <laughs> now we're doing two. We're doing two eight inning games. Uh, but, uh, so like one team will have a bye while the other two play. Okay. Okay. So, oh, that's uh, kind of dope, actually. Yeah. Two. Yeah, and. Uh, I think uh, we should have pretty much uh, most of the, the same guys, except Miguel and Arabula, obviously. But we'll, we Mono should have uh, all of our – yeah, yeah. And uh, okay. I think our our new pitcher, Pat – oh, yeah, second of all, shout out to Pat. That was his first uh, – this is like his first full year he's going to be doing. And uh, he he got someone on the all tourney team. Oh, he sure did. I didn't even think but, of it. Yeah, shouts out to Pat. I talked to Pat. He, he seems like he's about it, y'all. I think we need to watch Pat, out. For is, is Pat your pitcher? Yeah, Pat's their new pitcher. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. our new pitcher. All right. This was his uh, – he, he pitched in the second leg of the Beast of the East tournament last year. And then uh, – Oh, we lost. Uh, I think he's, he's going to be a problem. 
There you go. <laughs> he he gonna be a. No, nah, because uh, actually, yeah, I can pick up why he's reconnecting. Like against us, like, <laughs> right. Pat was finding a lot of bats. Like they didn't have that many Ks against us in our game. So like that ten to twelve. I mean, they were fighting. I mean, uh, what ended up happening is uh, they ended up having some Ks late, and we kind of found some bats finally. And I mean, it was they, they gave us a good game. Nice. Nice. Well, that's, uh, I, I said it on the show last week. Uh, the fire is, uh, one of the programs that I I'm excited to see develop. I, I like the, the pieces they've been putting together. The two so. teams I'm excited for the jets and, uh, Philly, obviously I it's just, I want to see what, see what it looks like all together. Is there, that's probably, I, I just got a text message. It's probably from Tyler. <laughs> I lost you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm on anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Tyler, me. I got to go. <laughs> I, go. I guess I go. we're not going to, I guess we're not going to get the update on the tournament that I was hoping for, but no, no, actually no. I'm hoping we could get somebody maybe from the Titans next week to, to recap that tournament we haven't had anybody from the titans in a while uh, but eric you made me curious what uh, is, is it just that the jets are, are going to have such a new look or or is there other uh, reasons well, I, mean, that I the think jets... we can expect roughly the same defensively i mean they're good in the field i just uh you know with a new pitcher you never know like it's uh i will say i think one of the best things that i think his name is jeremy yeah. Um, has is like those guys have a lot of experience. They've got consistent swings, so like it's not gonna. He's not gonna have to try to find bats. So I think if Jeremy can, you know, find his hot streaks, find his guys that he knows he can hit, you know, because so much of hitting is like chemistry, and you know, getting those hours, getting those hours in, and getting those BPs in, it's it's gonna be important for him. But I think the Jets are gonna be competitive. You know, they've got some vets on that team, and a bunch of guys that like to play. So I mean, I'm looking forward to playing them. The, the only look we've had at them so far was uh, when they, they played a little bit like in the fall in some yeah, of the, like the smaller Texas things. But they reminded me of, of the the West Coast Dogs when we f- started with our original pitcher, Henry Woofer. Uh-huh. Like yeah, we, yeah. we, 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 we sometimes would just like struggle for two, three innings and then bam, just like in the fourth inning score, you know, like 11 runs or something. And then they, they seem to kind of have that same feel to me. Like, you know, sometimes they, they were, were taking a little bit of time to get things going. But once, once Jeremy started getting in a rhythm, like their whole team just kind of felt the flow, you know? And, uh, you know, I mean, as a pitcher, uh... I mean, let's be real. He's got to go up against some heavy hitters. I mean, Jared Woodard, Kyle Kennedy, uh, Fonzie Madrano. I mean, like, you know, like there's a uh, – those guys got out, you know, so much time under their belts, Tim, yeah. him, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. What's he going to do when, you know, Jared puts up a, a seven spot or Kyle puts up a six – you know what I mean? Like, yeah. how do you push back? And, you know, the yeah. only way you can learn that is to play. So, we'll see, man. I wish him the best of luck. You know, uh, speaking of pitcher, uh, two two thoughts on that. One, uh, one of my notes on on the Gateway Archers was that uh, uh, coming into like uh, recapping the the tournament is um, they they definitely have uh, in, in the two tournaments they played on, in. I, I know they haven't been at full strength in either, but they've been they've been struggling to get to get runs going. They they did better uh, in the in the final game against the Fire, but in each of their tournaments tournaments they've been struggling to get runs going in and then it came out today uh, mike curtis had a post that johnny walker is going to be joining the gateway archers is so it? i yeah and i don't well, i don't you know, um, the only pitcher i know is amari i think is her name and she's younger and mari uh, actually not uh is just it mari? mari yeah mari yeah <laughs> but uh yeah no it's uh i mean if if walker is coming on i think that'll help because they've got some guys but yeah, that kind of be my assessment too. They were struggling to find bats. I, I don't know what his role's going to be. Like, I don't know that he's mm-hmm. jumping in to become pitcher or if he's going to. Because Mike Curtis and Maybe he can at least help, you know, team. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, found no, it, it sounded like he was going to be like a, a, a helper or whatever, a helping coach role? perhaps or whatever. Well, that's good because uh, I do think. I mean, Amar, was it Mari's pitch Mari. to me? And uh, I said Mari. Okay. And, uh, she, uh, she pitched to me, and I mean, I hit some bombs off her. So I know she can do it. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, 
pitching is so much confident. Yeah, yeah no, definitely. I mean, I, you know, uh, uh, Beatball's been guilty because there have been a couple of young pitchers like Kevin and Jared that have taken off, you know, and, and just had these great careers that when somebody gets a young pitcher in there, they, it, it, Kyle Kennedy's been put under this kind of pressure. I don't want to seem like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, hey, they, they, they put hey, pressure. Fon- on. Fonzie was the same one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Kind of starts, you know? They, they uh, <laughs> start young and they just explode and change the game. That's right. So and, and uh, so I, I'm I'm really happy. Whatever capacity Walker's guy, I mean, he's always just great for the game. And and he, I think it'll help them defensively as well because he, he'll yeah, be able to kind yeah. of be like you know, I because you know, he he did a lot with um, the Colorado Storm and everything. He's a big part of that. So yeah, I, I don't, think it'll be a good addition. I don't think the archers could have picked up a better piece to help them kind of put put what they have all together. So I'm yeah, happy I mean, for that. Like Walker Walker's one of the coolest people I've uh, met. Great, great, great individual. But I, I was also going to make a, a note on uh, Kyle Kennedy. Like I, I felt like he played uh, pitched well over the weekend. Hey, Shouts uh, out to my guy. There's a lot of. We'll say we'll say static in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean there's been but, uh, a lot no, of no, finger, no. a lot of a lot of finger. People, points. Yeah, there's a lot of talk, and you know my man stepped up. Yeah, he had his he had the game against Philly where he was struggling, and you know that's where your defense has to pick you up, and that's what we were able to do. You know, hey, and then the next day Kyle was on fire. So you know he, my man's is getting it getting it going. He's got good guys to pitch to, so we all just gonna play together. I mean, I know it's easy to be in a good group when you're winning, but uh, it, it seemed like you guys were in a good place on your sideline uh, in, in the games that I listened to. Um, everybody it seemed was, to, to it be was like my, well. I'll, it was my funnest weekend ever. Absolutely. Like, I've never – I haven't played like that. I don't know. Was, I haven't felt that before. It was awesome. That was cool. Good for you. Yeah. Nice. Set dog, you got anything else for this young man? Nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. All right, All fellas. Right. Good luck, sir. Gotta he give uh, De- gotta give Demetrius Morrow credit. Uh, it was he. He came to me. He's like, man, you you should get Erica Tyler to see if they'll come on and and talk about their their new digs, man. And and you guys <laughs> jumped right in. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, that's fun. You all like coming on. Ty- Tyler uh, told me last night, it's like, you know, with the going rate for big stars on this show being like 300 bucks for, for, for Eric, it's going to be 500. It's so like, all right. Uh, actually, we just re- we raised it. It's actually 750 now. <laughs> <laughs> but we're able to pay that because Tyler was absolutely free. No, I'll just write it off on my taxes. We're good. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate you guys to the audience. Sorry we got it up late, but better late than never. And uh, we'll come back next week with something on this tournament that's going on this uh, upcoming weekend. Till then, everybody be cool. Thank you to Tyler and Eric. Thank you to Mr. Frank Porter. Thank you, Seth Dog. <laughs> we will catch you all next time around. Peace out. <laughs>